Good news. All right. Thank you, Larry. Mm -hmm. Next up, Don Marsh is going to introduce you to three popular radio personalities in St. Louis. And Steve Bassett has sports, including a trip to tonight's baseball writer's dinner. One of St. Louis's most popular radio personalities almost hit the airwaves using the name China Blue. That was seven years ago when he was breaking into the business in Pennsylvania. He wanted to change his ancestral Polish name. New Center 2's Don Marsh reports in his close-up series that China Blue settled for the name of John St. John. 55 KSD, Kenny Rogers steals from the bottom of the deck for a top 10 hit, The Gambler. On a warm summer's eve. Now he calls himself the Saint, and when he comes marching in between 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock in the evening at KSD, he brings with him a lot of popular music, articulate hip conversation, and a very sage philosophy. If a jock comes into a control room and he sits down to talk on the air, and he goes on and on about himself or whatever he's into or whatever his life uh, revolves around, He's isolating the audience because he's offering them pretty much just a picture of himself. And you don't really have to be a, a graduate magna cum laude from the Dale Carnegie course on how to win friends and influence people to know that the most interesting subject to anyone is themselves. So, so more or less what I try to do is, is hold up a mirror to the people, uh, kind of reflecting the changes in society, the changes in people's thinking, the changes in my thinking and how uh, uh, it reflects what they're into. And uh, you hold up a mirror to them, and they're going to stay with you. They're going to be more interested. John St. John also offers his audience a pretty, almost anonymous sidekick, known only as Jody. But what Jody has to say to drive-time motorists is at least as important as the Saints' music. Elsewhere, though, it looks good. Rapid transit on westbound 44, westbound 70, and on Highway 270. This is Jody, 55 KSD Traffic Central. There's plenty of news, too, brought to us by eight-year KSD veteran Bob Hamilton, a newsman and a stylist of the spoken word. In Iran, the U.S. today sending signals that maybe the Shah ought to leave his country. Before that, the U.S. had pledged its support in favor of keeping the monarch in power. But it's John St. John's show, and he obviously loves what he's doing. Picked from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania obscurity late last summer, he's in the big time now, and he's doing a big time job. It's always been my philosophy, too, to uh, take a look at the headlines of the paper that uh, many people, in many cases, may find depressing. And you try to twist it around a little bit, make them see it uh, in a slightly different manner where they might get a chuckle out of it instead of a uh, case of the blues. And even as I speak to you now, Jimmy Carter making his way back from Guadalupe. And you know, one of the biggest problems facing uh, Mr. Carter when he makes it back for this year is what to do about the guy who sits around all day with nothing to do, with no productive employment whatsoever. Of course, around the country, this is known as the unemployment problem. At the White House, it's called the Walter Mondale problem. You got John St. John, along with Lou Rose at Music Radio. St. John's future? One day, he'd like to be a station programmer. Choose the music the other guys play, he says. That's well off in the future. Of more immediate concern to him and other KSD staffers, their future at KSD. The station's in the process of being sold, and everyone's wondering if the new owners will stay with the present staff or be making changes. Tomorrow, a touch of ethnic radio. Don Marsh, News Center 2. Right. Steve Bassett knows all those radio calls. Fourth year in a row.